Hello, my name is Dr. Jacqueline K. Noggle. In this video, I'll report on the work by Ben Fernay, a student that recently completed his master's degree as part of an exchange program between universities in Germany and the United States. And I co-advised with Dr. Hao Zhang at James Madison University. The topic of this video is nature-inspired infill patterns for additive manufacturing. Structures in nature exhibit functional properties that can inspire technical innovations. Some examples include the shape of a bird wing, which allows for the regulation of pressure zones to create lift and has inspired aircraft. The honeycomb, which has a high strength to weight ratio and resistance to compression while being lightweight and has inspired sandwich structure composites that are used in rockets, aircraft, jet engines, and turbine blades. Shark skin has a micro pattern that can reduce drag of watercraft by inhibiting algae growth and barnacle attachment. Recognizing the value of the structure function relationship inspired us to ask this research question. What structures in nature can be used to enhance the mechanical properties of infill patterns for additive manufacturing? The goal of this work is to use advanced manufacturing techniques to create nature-inspired designs that reduce material diversity, quantity, or waste while still achieving desired functionality. The inspiration for the infill patterns comes from three sources. Fruit with solid cores such as apples, the alternating hard and soft layers of the human skull, and the stem of a dicot plant, such as a sunflower. These biological systems were selected because of their functionality. They demonstrate an ability to manage forces, such as compression or impact, and prevent structural failure while being lightweight. The test specimens, as shown by the gray cylinders, were 3D printed and tested according to the procedures of the ASTM standard called the test method for compressive properties of rigid plastics. Thus, each part was placed in an Instron compression machine as shown on the left, which measures the material's behavior under applied crushing loads. The data is plotted as a stress strain curve like the one shown on the right and allows for the comparison of standard and bio-inspired infill patterns. From this curve, four metrics were selected for evaluating the test specimens. The modulus of resilience, which is a measurement of how much energy the material can absorb and release during non-permanent deformation. The peak load, which is the maximum compression force withstood by the material. The strength to weight ratio, which is the peak load value divided by the weight of the part. And finally, the extension, which is the measurement of how much the material permanently deforms before reaching peak load or failure. In conclusion, the design testing and analysis of nature inspired infill patterns for additive manufacturing has resulted in outperformance of standard infill patterns on the metric of extension. The graph on the left shows the strength to weight ratio for standard infill patterns, such as a grid in black and the bio-inspired patterns are on the color. The bio-inspired infill patterns tended to be heavier and withstand lower peak loads, but were not drastically different from the standard infill patterns. The graph on the right shows the extension values for our standard infill patterns in orange and the bio-inspired patterns in blue. This data is for the middle part of the stress strain curve when compression starts and the material begins to permanently deform until the maximum compression force or peak load is applied. The bio-inspired infill patterns either compare or outperform the standard infill patterns. And it is the alternating layer infill pattern inspired by the human skull that has the highest performance for the extension metric. Two of these test specimens are shown in the top left of the extension graph. Future work for this research includes designing and testing more bio-inspired infill patterns that have better peak load, strength to weight ratio, and resilience results. Thank you for your time and attention.